welcome to mechanical tutorial i am going to teach you different techniques in solid works for mechanical engineers i am going to train you different modules like surface modeling sheet metal and enclosure design product design plastic components design reverse engineering and many more tips and tricks in solid works hi today i am going to explain how to create configuration with design table of a sheet metal component there. So left side you can see the component and dimensions and how to control these dimension with the design table for each and every configuration. See so this is the component I am going to show you how to create. And left side you can see the features like base flange, edge flange, hole, brake corners. And here we can see four configurations. So I am going to show you how to create these configurations with this design table. So we can control dimensions as well as features, each and every feature. So let's start now. So now I am going to create a sheet metal model. Select the front plane. Select center point rectangle. Thirty mm. Eighty mm. Select sheet metal tab and select the base flange. Here I have taken 1 mm and K factor is 0.45. Now I am going to add one more flange. Select edge flange. I am going to edit this cage. Select front plane. So here I am going to create the whole feature. Say OK. So edit the sketch. So it is exact at the center. Now I am going to create chamfer select break corner and select this edge I have taken 3 mm now once again I am going to select break corner now I am going to select this fill it it's 3 mm so initially we can take any dimension later we can control the in the configurations so usually what we do is we add one configuration for sheet 201 so then we control these dimensions in this configuration either we edit this configuration or suppress this feature in the configuration suppose here I suppressed this whole feature now when I click this default it shows the whole feature but when I click this other configuration sheet 201 it suppresses so this is done manually but when we have more number of configurations suppose 10 20 30 so how to control these configurations so for that initially we have to create one configuration that is default with a number of features then we have to insert this table so before that what we have to do is 
if you want to see these dimensions instead of clicking on this this uh, sketch which is not properly visible to avoid uh, such problem what we have to do is we have to keep this model at this corner right corner and select this annotations right click select show feature dimensions so automatically it shows the all the dimensions this chamfer this ra radius see radius is 3 the flange height and width everything see here these are visible now we can insert this design table we have to select auto create here we have to select all the instances initially so select d1 scroll down select shift and select the last d1 sheet 4 so it highlights in blue color initially we have to select this otherwise it doesn't create the configuration in the excel sheet so now say ok see here so we can recognize these dimensions so to move this uh, model click on this model tree and just we can move wherever we want so that is the method don't if you click on the graphical window immediately the excel sheet escape from this window and once again we have to open it so don't click on this graphical window we have to click here and just scroll to control this model see so we know the dimensions of this uh, flanges that is d1 sketch 1 so sketch 1 d1 so we can since it is a small model we can identify otherwise if you want to control in independently so delete all this initial parameters so delete directly now click on this cell and click on 30 double click so we can see d1 sketch 1 so 30 we, we are able to control this now here select 80 we have to double click and double click on 24 double click on 10 double click on 3 that is chamfer dimension and double click on 3 that is radius so we i am going to control this six parameters in this model now after creating this just click on the graphical window save this file now once again open this model right click and select edit table so we can see the simply say ok don't select anything now we can see this default configuration here I am going to create few more configuration that is sheet 201 see here and just simply drag so I am going to create 4 configuration 201, 202, 34 and here also simply drag all the dimensions as it is so copy cell we have to select copy cell and click on the graphical window don't modify any value see it is highlighting 201 203 this new configurations generated see what mistake we do is initially creating this configuration we try to edit these parameters sometimes that creates an error so once these features are created now once again right click edit table
now we can change these parameters simply say ok now we can change the parameters here see here now I am going to make this 40 50 25 35 here 75 70 60 65 22 21 20 23 this is whole diameters 5 6 8 this is a chamfer 5 4 2 4 5 4 6 1 so 1 is not properly visible so I am going to make 2 mm so these are the dimensional modifications I have done so I can change the color for identification so here I am making it yellow with red color font and making it bold for better visibility here I am go going to make blue color background bold and uh, so we can modify like excel sheet so I am making the borders so it is easy for us to identify now click on the graphical window now we have to verify that whether these dimensions modified or not so we have to click the configurations so it is changing 75 5 22 see here 4 chamfer 4 radius 70 50 and 6 see here so each and every configuration is modified now sometimes uh, we don't want default configuration so we can delete this configuration sometimes initially we delete we create uh, with default configuration we have to highlight other configuration apart from default so here uh, we can see in green color sheet 204 is highlighted then only we can delete this configuration so simply click on this and right click delete this and say ok so de default configuration is gone so initially when we create default is required later we if you want to keep it as a reference we can keep otherwise if you want to specify a with a series of numbers we can delete this initial default configuration now I want to suppress some of the features like holes chamfer fillets or flange so I am going to show this so right click on the design table edit table simply drag little bit right side and select this feature manager design tree now select this cell right side in the top corner and select any feature so I am going to select this flange so in this configuration I want to unsuppress that means I want to show this configuration I am going to drag this and here instead of unsuppress I am going to make suppress so I am going to suppress in two configurations and I want to suppress this whole feature in one configuration 
so here in last configuration i am going to suppress this whole feature similarly for chamfer i want to suppress in first configuration and third configuration and fillet also i am going to suppress first configuration and third configuration now let's see the transition so here i am going to make since it is a feature i am going to make in, into green color just for identification so we can modify according to our requirement okay now click on the graphical window i am clicking on the first configuration see here here in the first configuration the chamfer and this radius is suppressed and whole feature is visible and flange second configuration the edge flange is not visible and all other features like chamfer fillet and hole is visible in third configuration flange and all chamfer and radius is suppressed and hole is visible see here in fourth configuration flange is visible chamfer and radius hole is suppressed so we can control the features as well as dimensions in the model and we can create n number of configuration here sometimes if you want 100 configurations simply simply drag this and we can modify all the dimensions and features as per requirement in shortcut we can use u for unsuppressing and s for suppressing so we can use these options and we can control the features as well as see here we can drag down and we can assign these values one one is for unsuppressing zero for suppressing or we can straight away use suppress terminology or shortcut for s yes and u here we can control all the dimensions as per requirement so this is the advantage of design table for controlling the configurations as well as creating new configurations thank you for watching